Honourable mentions of 2023. These are the albums and the songs. Don't forget the songs, okay? Albums and songs of 2023 that are worthy of being mentioned as being really great pieces of music, very, very good pieces of music, but unfortunately they do not quite make the year-end lists that I will be making for the albums and songs that are coming very, very friggin' soon, okay? These are still very good, and that, there's not much else to say that. I don't want to waste your time too much longer, really. Let's just get on with it. Please stay around until the end of the video, though, because there will be songs that play out the video that won't quite make the songs list. But before we get to that, let's talk about the albums first. Starting with Travis Scott's Utopia, which felt like the biggest music event of the year. It just really took the world by storm. It really had a massive impact on the world of hip hop music because at that point, we hadn't really seen a big hip hop release at all. There'd been no number ones on the charts. It was a really weird point in music that people were just really confused by. But Travis Scott came through and I think he delivered for the most part. I think there are some weaker tracks, particularly like in the back end of the album that I don't really consider considered to be that strong but for the most part it's a long really long heavy track list that mostly has very good songs and maybe only a few duds but those duds don't quite help it land on the year-end list for me i think it's just worthy of being mentioned as an honorable mention i think it's got some of his best songs ever though by the way i think you know i know uh, hyena my eyes watch my top 10 travis scott songs video if you want to see where those songs land in that list because they are mentioned there but yeah it's not as it's not a rodeo but i don't know if we're ever going to get a rodeo again but what we did get i think is very good a bit more of a low-key release this year in terms of its sound and how what recognizable it is tennis with the next honorable mention for me i just like what tennis bring to the table i, I think they're really really sweet and they have a really good ear for melody and they're not ever doing anything too flashy or in your face or doing anything that's like out of the ordinary you've probably heard music like this before there's no denying that but i think what they do is that they just have a really sweet sound and they're just good vibes like they're just in such nice vibes you stick on a tennis song and you can't help but just feel good after listening to it i just like what they do i think what this album uh, brought to me in 2023 was just a nice calming pop release that again isn't quite stand out enough to be on the year-end official list but it's still very good i've got to mention my boy vale smith next with um yo an album that is quite easily his most ambitious to date really with how long this album is the amount of tracks on it that appear it is a really lengthy release and I will say that you do feel the length at times which is again why it wouldn't quite make my year end list but the quality of the music that you get is still very strong so it's not really a huge detractor or negative thing to say about the album I just think once you get to a certain point you're getting quite similar sounding songs uh, for a long period of time but that being said, it is very good. I think the sort of new age that he's kind of approaching music with, the kind of more dance elements and the kind of more banger elements that he's going for, there's always been bangers in his music. But before, I think it was more wonky and UK bass influenced. That's still there, but he's kind of amped it up a little bit more and branched into more like house stuff, which is very appealing to me. And I can only see good things uh, going forward in the future with this sound if he expands on it even further uh, yeah i'm all for it i want to mention skrillex next with uh his album that came out this year he actually released two the second one got really like banished and absolutely like uh, exiled from existence i thought it was all right like i thought there were some really good tracks on that one but anyway for me personally i do think the first one was better it has some of the more highlights and more standout moments i would say some just again kind of more focus on like the heavy hitters you know tracks like rumble for example which is fantastic but yeah for me uh, oh the missy elliott track too that's a really good one but yeah for me I, I do think this is a really strong release from skrillex i think it's cool to see him kind of branching out and adding some more guest features to the table bringing his sound and taking it into different directions unexpectedly for sure but yeah i, I think this is a very good release from skrillex i want to mention lil yachty next a lot of people have spoken about how much of a huge pivot this was for his career and how unexpected it was and how he delivered and I'm not gonna lie I'm, I'm pretty much on board with what people said about it to be honest like I, I agree with it I, I think it was a huge pivot it was a huge crazy turning point for him and yeah he did it as well as you could expect it to be to be honest I don't think it's quite as good 
as perhaps others maybe think it is. I don't enjoy it as much as I know some people will be absolutely including on their year in list. But for psych rock music, for that kind of psychedelic sunshine pop music that he's going for, I think he does a pretty good job with it. I think Drive Me Crazy is fantastic. There's some really great tracks on this one, man. And yeah, I like it. And finally, Suzanne Sunfall, which I will say was an album I thought was going to be a shoe in for my year end list once I'd seen it had been announced and once I'd listened to the two tracks that she released from it prior to the album. However, it didn't quite end up living to that expectation, but there are some artists that just don't really miss and Suzanne Sunfall is one of those. So I can't not call it an honorable mention because it is still very good and it's still beautiful and the vocal performances are absolutely stellar and there's some really lovely instrumentation across the whole thing. It's Suzanne doing what she does really well. So yeah, while it might not quite be as excellent as some of her other albums, because she's got so many good ones. If you've never listened to her, you know, 10 Love Songs, uh, Music for People in Trouble, freaking hell man, she's got so many good albums. It's just that it didn't quite live up to the brilliance of those ones. But even still, for the year of 2023, I've got to mention it as an honorable mention. So yeah, there you are. So they are the album honorable mentions for 2023. Really good releases here, just don't quite make the year end list. Hopefully you agree with me. Let me know your thoughts if you think these deserve to be on my year end list. If I've got it completely wrong, you can tell me. Um, and of course, don't leave the video just yet because the tracks are about to play out. The songs that don't quite make my songs year end list. So enjoy listening to those. Hopefully you get some recommendations from this video as well. Subscribe, check out my Patreon if you want to support me over on there, and goodbye. Enjoy the songs. Try to bore me. Dinah tries to dive.